So this is my version of uh, Draw My Life. Hello, yeah, here we go, ready? This is a picture of me. I have um, something on my face and a smile and I'm doing like a thumbs up. Nope, those are my, nope. There we go, cool kid glasses, cool. Okay, so first things first, there was a man and the woman and they got together and, whoa, where those legs? So they got fell in love and they had a baby. That baby was my big sister. And then they were like, we're not in love, just kidding. But they had another kid on accident. Whoops, that kid was me. Whoa. Okay, there we go. This kid was another baby, and that kid was cool, just like me, Hannah, yeah. So then, um, there was a mom, and she had two kids, and they were like, yay, let's do things. Oh, we don't have any money. Oh, we don't have any food. Oh, we barely have any clothes. That's rough, but we have a lot of love. Yay, yay. You know, to be fair, guys, I, uh, I don't really, I'm trying to do this all in one take. And I was like, what can I do to get food, question mark? Hmm, but I was still really cool, and I wore sunglasses, and I smiled a lot, and I came up with an idea. It was a bright idea, in fact. That was so cool. Great, so the idea went a little something like this. Uh, you know when you go to school, and you are in elementary school, and you have a lot of people, and they all have, like, extras in their lunch bag? Well, I used to get on the playground and do this game I like to call, um, Will She Eat It? And it was a pretty simple game. Um, it basically meant that if anybody had something in their lunch that they didn't really want, um, they could just give it to me. So, like, that meant, like, you know, like a Fig Newton or, like, a big burrito. Wait, it looks like a Hot Pocket. Like a Fig Newton. Oh, no, it's not Fig Newton. Like a Fig Newton, you know, and then they put, like, ketchup on it. And then they'd put, like, you know, other various sorts of extras on it and try and make it gross and be like, Whoa, will she eat it? And the answer was yes. Yes, 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 she would. So that was a lot of what my childhood was like. I was pretty happy, you know? Um, but then I got older and a bunch of other stuff happened. We're not going to talk about that. And I was like, man, I'm not that happy. Um, but I was still pretty happy, you know? Keep positive, right? Keep positive. Um, but then I, there was a really cool event, which is those are my mom's legs. This is another baby! And I had a little sister all of a sudden, and I loved her so much. And I was like, yay, baby, that's so cool. Everything is coming up roses. You can play with the baby, you can teach a baby, you can sing, you can give them hugs all the time. And all they do is they say, thumbs up, dude, it's so cool. So then me and this baby were super happy. Oh, and then a bunch of other stuff happened. Yeah, and things get complicated when you do a Draw My Life. Um, things are pretty good. Uh, this is a rough patch, I'd say. You know, sometimes you get emancipated when you're young and babies go into foster care and you have to figure life out. But you're like, wow, I'm thinking, how do I get through this tough patch? And I was like, oh, I'll just ask for help because I need it. And that's what I did. Um, and so eventually there was this really cool family that came along and they were like, we love having nice babies. Could we have that baby? And that baby was like, yeah, I want to be in your family. And they love each other and they're working it out and everything's great. And there's me. And I'm like, good job, guys. And you get to look and see this, like, everything's working out. So then you're me and you're like, cool, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get lots of jobs. I'm going to get lots of degrees. I'm going to make my way through college and be somebody that... It works hard, work hard, play hard, really is what I'm trying to say. And that's a good logic thing. Look at that happy, derpy face. So basically what happens is you go to college and then all of a sudden you're in your classrooms and you're like, whoa, who dat? Who dat? And you're learning Japanese and that's your life. And then it's a girl and you're like looking at me, liking, do I like this person? What the hell is going on? Ah! And then you're like, oh my God, am I gay? Am I a big gay homo? Is that, wait, no, this isn't my life. This is not my life. No, I'm not gay. Am I gay? No. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, pretty gay. Ah! So that was really confusing, but she ended up liking girl men, and I ended up continuing to like girls, and that was also a very long and complicated story as well. Very, you know, but oh, look, that's me being gay and eating pizza, I guess. It's a happy thing. The next stage of my life um, is post-college, and I worked in San Francisco, but then I moved to New York City, and I worked as a translator at a desk, and it was exciting and interesting and hard, but it was fine, because I had a job, and frankly, the economy was crashing, and who wouldn't be happy to have a job? Um, but then, something amazing happened, which is I got drunk, and then I got hungry, and that equaled my dun-dun, drunk, dun-dun, Kitchen! MDK! Woo 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 woo! See, it's a spatula and a wine glass, and my life got so crazy cool and awesome and interesting and fun, and I started doing YouTube, and it's really, really good. Um, what happened next? 
Oh yeah, so then I moved from New AYC? New York to Los Angeles, a city I'd never ever 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 wanted to live in in my entire life. Okay, so I got a Prius and I have lots of friends here and I do YouTube all the time and I have money and love and everything's working out. And so now my life is really, 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 really great. And I've got a tour coming up, getting the community together and we're gonna do volunteer work all across America with you guys. I have a dragon, I have really big muscles, you know, and I have lots of love and hearts. And, you know, this is a bunch of question marks. This is probably me not knowing what to draw next. So that's that. Sometimes you get sad, but then sometimes you're happy. That's life. And it's sometimes everybody feels difficult, you know? Sometimes people have tails. But they get past it, you know? They get over it. Um, but life goes up and down a lot. And life doesn't have to be that hard if you have a good foundation of people that love you and you love yourself. And then life's ups and downs will feel like tiny little waves and you're really just on a boogie board. That makes a lot of sense. You know, people ask me, how do you deal with all this stuff and how do you manage it? And I say, look, dude, I have three hands. Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Hey guys!